The latest numbers from the State Department of Public Health show over 8,800 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Georgia. More than 300 people across the state have died right now. Fulton County around the Atlanta area has the most cases. They have over 1,100 in central Georgia. Houston County has the most cases. They currently have 79. Now, 13 WMAZ continues to ask some of Central Georgia's largest hospital systems to release COVID-19 statistics, like how many patients are hospitalized and how many patients have tested positive. The reason, as Governor Kemp and Vice President Pence and others have said, numbers like those can help the public understand, understand the scope of the problem and prepare for what could lie ahead. Houston Healthcare provided information to us Monday and is now publicly releasing that information daily. Zach Merchant is live with information on what Navison Health is doing. Yeah, Frank, we have been asking for weeks now for basic information that helps define the scope of the COVID-19 challenge where we live. We're not asking for any information that could potentially identify a patient. That's the last thing we want. As you mentioned, what we've been asking are questions like how many people have tested positive and how many have been hospitalized. Now, understanding those numbers helps us all better understand the battle healthcare workers are fighting right now. It helps us better understand how busy these hospitals are getting. It helps us better understand how serious the situations are there. Now, at least half a dozen Central Georgia hospitals are now releasing at least some of that information. Navison Health is not one of them. When we first asked for COVID-19 stats, like how many people in Medical Center Navison Health's care had tested positive and how many had been hospitalized, the health system declined, saying that information might be used to stigmatize patients. State Representative Dale Washburn says a group of legislators got a similar response when they asked their own questions. That was puzzling to me somewhat because no one was asking for names of patients. Uh, we were just asking for the numbers of patients. Since our first request, Vice President Mike Pence has asked all of the nation's hospitals to give daily reports to the CDC on their number of confirmed and suspected COVID-19 cases and on how many beds and ventilators are available there. Uh, we remind every governor uh, and every laboratory and hospital in the country, it's imperative that you continue to report daily uh, to the CDC the results of those tests. We asked Navicent to share some of that information with the public as well and invited them for an on-camera interview. Their public relations manager, Megan Allen, responded by email saying, quote, Navison Health is reporting this data to the appropriate authorities through the proper channels in compliance with the vice president's request. Some other Central Georgia hospitals, including Dodge County Hospital, Houston Medical Center, Perry Hospital, Coliseum Health System, Crisp Regional, and Fairview Park are already releasing some of this information to the public. State Representative Robert Dickey says he's generally happy with how Navicent has handled COVID-19, but he doesn't understand why they won't release those facts. I think if the rest of them are sharing some of that information and, and don't see any uh, major issues with it, I, I don't know why Navicent uh, shouldn't be doing that as well. And Megan Allen said in another email that the hospital system has received word from the State Department of Public Health that the DPH plans to start reporting some hospital-specific data in their online reports. So far, though, at least that has not happened. That's not to say it won't. When we reached out to the North Central Health District here in Macon, they said they haven't gotten any word of this change, but they also noted sometimes things are decided at the state level of the DPH, and local districts are not alerted ahead of time. So something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on through the next couple days. Frank, back to you. All right, thank you, Zach. The Department of Public Health says statewide, about 20% of people with confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been hospitalized.